What is going on everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about flukes. What are flukes? They're basically little parasitic flatworms that uh, latch onto your fish and basically suck the life out of them. Now flukes are pretty common in this hobby. They come in on angelfish, tangs, triggers, usually medium to large fish you'll see them most commonly. But that doesn't mean small fish don't have them also. There are also different types of flukes. There's different types of uh, parasitic flatworms. But I wanted to do a video today because I'm going to a customer's house who just recently got a fish from another fish store. And unfortunately, they did not do a quarantine process. And they put that fish in their existing aquarium and it infected the rest of the fish with flukes. So now the customer called us, said my fish are acting weird. They're flashing, they're thrashing. So some common signs of your fish having flukes are rapid gill movement, um, scraping against the rocks, but more towards the head area, gill area, like they're trying to dislodge something from their gills. And um, I'll show you a bit more of the signs as we go to this customer's house. You'll also see little white spots on the fish as well. But um, I've talked enough, let's go ahead and I'll show you video proof uh, at this customer's house exactly what we're dealing with. And hopefully this helps you if you're dealing with something similar. But remember guys, quarantine your fish. All right, let's go. So here we are at the customer's tank. I do apologize about the glare, but I am at someone's house. There's not much I can do about that. But I can tell on this Hawaiian trigger right away that there is definite flukes on him. You can tell, especially against his black coloration uh, and on his eyes. And wow, if you look at this clown trigger, there's a fluke right there on that eye. If I zoom in here and then for sure, you can see two of them on his right eye. So definite flukes here. So when you have an outbreak this bad, it's real easy to see them on the eye. That's how you can definitely tell that there's flukes. And then if we look at the Vlamingi Tang, we can see some really deep, heavy, rapid gill movement. He's really laboring to breathe. That's because those parasitic worms are in his gills. So I'm gonna treat definitely today with some Prozzi Pro. This stuff works great with uh, getting rid of parasitic worms. Uh, flat worms and uh, other parasitic worms. So I'm going to go ahead and dose this directly to the tank. And it's real simple to use. The directions are on there. Uh, I've used it in the past. It works great. So I just did about a 75% water change because there are some large fish in here. So it needed a big water change anyways. I added some of the medication to the filtration, the sump, and now I'm going to add a little bit to the display. Mix it real good when we pump in. All right, so we're fully pumped in here, and I'm just taking a look. If you look closely at that Hawaiian trigger, you can start to see these uh, flatworms starting to be irritated by the medication that's in the water, and then that one was kind of, it's almost kind of dislodging. It's oh, It just fell off. Look at that. That is so cool. So definitely for sure the medication's already working. And here's the clown trigger. And the one on his left eye seems to be gone. And he had two on his right eye. Uh, he, he loves the camera. Hey, bud. It, it looks like the one on the right side is, is starting to move around, uh, starting to dislodge itself uh, as well. So the Vilmingi Tang is really starting to look irritated. And that's because as that medication is working, it's starting to bother those flatworms and it's probably really irritating his gills. Um, unfortunately, that's just kind of uh, kind of part of the process. And as I'm looking at the clown trigger, uh, it's starting to be effective. The flatworms are starting to dislodge. I think we've already lost uh, two of them have already come off. Uh, Black wine trigger. I'm, I'm starting to notice a little bit of difference, too. All right, here we are a week later and it's been a full seven days and I'm coming in to check in on the fish and oh, see we got a little brown algae there, okay? But I wanted to come and check on the fish and we gotta do another dose as well. So we're, today we're going to be doing a 25%, uh, 25 to 30% water change and then we're gonna do one more round uh, today, but the fish look active. They're moving around. They've been eating. The customer says they've been acting normal. So that's all good signs. They don't seem to be lethargic. Uh, but as I'm going through here, um, the Vlamingi Tang is breathing way better. Uh, you can notice if you see his gills, there's not that fast gill movement anymore. And if you look at the trigger's eye, look at that. 
It looks like there's no more flat worms on his eyes. No, that's a that's a win. Heck yeah. We're not out of the woods yet. We still got to do another treatment. The Hawaiian black trigger, I can definitely see a little bit of uh, white spots still on him right there. I'm trying to zoom in the best I can. It's definitely a little bit still on, something still on him. Definite progress. We're heading in the right direction. But I'm going to go ahead today and I'm going to do a water change. And I'm going to take it down to about right here. And then we'll uh, re-up another dose. Uh, one thing that's concerning me is this file fish. If you look closely, that translucent lucent area, that, that's nerve-wracking. I don't know what that could be. Uh, I'll have to look into that. Shoot. Look, it wouldn't be surprising if an, some other disease or parasite got into this tank, given that the flukes got in. Um, there's a good chance that something a lot worse than flukes could be in this aquarium right now. But we're seeing tons of movement. Uh, there's definitely still some spots in the Hawaiian trigger. But uh, here's a good example. This clown grouper, he's out and about way more active than uh, before. It was very lethargic last time I was here. Gill movement seems to be good. I'm not noticing any signs on him. There's no doubt that there's still probably flatworms in here, but they're just not in the numbers that they were before. So these fish are a lot healthier looking. And the flamingis, I just love that the flamingi is breathing a lot easier now. And I'm um, seeing a lot more swimming and less, uh, you know, fish seem to be, you know, winded. Uh, that's definitely, it makes me feel good. And before uh, this blue hippo tang was not looking good, his eye was cloudy. It still seems to be a, a bit off, but he's out now. He's not hiding in a rock or anything like that. And his gill movement looks way better as well. So I think we're on the track where, you know, we're in the right trajectory here. And uh, I appreciate that. Uh, look at the metallic squirrel fish is darting around. Everybody's definitely a lot more active. Everybody seems to be thinking that they're going to get fed. So there's a lot more energy in this tank, I, I, I'd say. Uh, a definite, a lot more, uh, definite uh, higher energy level, which is a good sign that those are lower numbers. So we're going to go ahead and prep up another dose to this aquarium just to make sure that we kill any type of uh, residual flatworms, any newly hatched flatworms, and we'll probably do another treatment after this as well. And surprise, surprise, the Niger trigger, the one that started it all is still here. I see some flukes on him, but he's here. That's a good sign because I did not see him at all last time, uh, very rare, and then I didn't see him till just now, so I was scared he had passed, but here he is, and he's still definitely got a lot of flukes, a decent amount of flukes on him. But we're not done. I'm glad we made some significant uh, steps forward, but the fight, uh, you know, continues. So keep at it. So the good news is the fish don't look any worse. They actually still look healthy. They're still gaining weight. They're still eating. Those are all important signs. I was more worried about a secondary uh, parasite or infection, bacteria infection. Flukes is manageable. It's something you can deal with if you treat quickly enough. So I'm just happy that it, it's not something more severe, but that file fish uh, kind of freaks me out a bit, what's going on there, but we'll, we'll investigate that a little bit more. I will definitely keep you guys posted on how this tank is doing. Still got a while to go. Hopefully these fish do really well and can recover. But again, this is why it's so important to quarantine fish and to get fish from a good source. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.